Hi guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, you're going to learn the difference between work and job. These are two words that people often mix up. And so if you are one of those people, then keep watching to clarify any doubts that you have. Now, while I was making the PowerPoint for this video, I realized that when we use work, we also use a lot of prepositions to talk about it. So you're also going to learn about prepositions in this video. And at the end of the video, there'll be a short quiz to test your knowledge. And you can also download some practice exercises from my website. I'll put the link in the description down below. Now, if you do like the content, please hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And don't forget to ring the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Let's get started. So looking at the table, straight away we can see that work and job can both be used as nouns and as adjectives. But it is only work that can be used as a verb. So let's take a closer look at how we use work as a verb. It means to do a paid job. I've put paid in brackets here because you can also work as a volunteer where you don't get paid. But most of the time when we talk about working, we mean doing a paid job. So let's take a look at the different structures that we can use. You can work as plus article plus profession. Now I've highlighted the article here because it's really important. We don't say I work as teacher. We say I work as a teacher. He works as an architect. They work as secretaries. Here there's no article because secretaries is plural. You can work for or at a company. I work for English with M. She works at the council. They work for an international company. You can work in an industry or a place. I work in customer service. So here we're talking about the customer service industry. He works in London. They work in the construction industry. You can work for a person. Now, if you work for someone, that person is your boss. I work for myself. In other words, I am self-employed. She works for her dad. We work for the company director. You can also work with a person and if you work with someone, it is your workmate or colleague or a customer or client. I worked with Darren. Notice the past tense of the verb to work. It's regular, so in the past we say worked and it is pronounced worked, not worked. He works with his cousin. Doctors work with patients. So let's just summarize what we've just learned. We can work as a or an plus profession. I work as a teacher. We can work for or at a company. We can work in an industry or a place. We can work for a person or we can work with a person. Now, don't worry if you think you might not remember this. I've actually created a PDF with the grammar explanation and also some practice exercises, which you can download for free from my website, English with M. You'll find the link down below in the description. And there's also a short quiz at the end of this video to practice these prepositions. Now, let's look at work as a noun. It is an uncountable noun. And work is things that you are paid or required to do for your job. Or tasks that you are required to complete for your education. 
So let's just sort of summarize that and say tasks you have to complete. Now, although tasks is um, countable, one task, two tasks, work is uncountable. So you cannot say I have a work to do. You can say I have a bit of work to do. I have some work to do. I have a lot of work to do. If you do want to be specific, then you have to say a piece of. I have a piece of work to finish for university. I have two pieces of work to do today. I have several pieces of work to do at the moment. There is one instance where we can use work as a countable noun, and that is when we talk about a work of art, for example, a painting or a sculpture. So these are works of art. Now let's look at work as an adjective. A work event. Work in this case tells you what kind of event it is. It is a work event. Work environment. Work schedule. This word, if you're British, is pronounced schedule. If you're American, schedule. So both are correct. Schedule, schedule. Work ethic. Work experience. Work shoes. Work clothes. Work bag. Now let's take a look at job. So as I said at the beginning, job is also a noun, but it's a countable noun. And a job is a paid position of employment, um, paid again in brackets, because you could work as a volunteer and not get paid, but usually a paid position of employment. So let's compare the noun job with the noun work. Work is an uncountable noun that means the tasks you have to complete. So job is countable. Work is uncountable. Your job is your paid position of employment and your work are the tasks you have to complete as part of your job or perhaps your course of study. So let's take a closer look at job. What's the most popular job in your country? We can see here the most in-demand or popular jobs in the UK right now. Uh, programmers and software developers, guys. So that is the industry to get into if you want to get a job in the UK, apparently. Now, if you want to know what somebody's job is, don't say, what's your job? You will be understood, but it doesn't sound very natural. It's much better to say, what do you do? And if you ask someone, what do you do? You're not asking them what they are doing right now. You're asking them what their profession is. And when you answer the question, don't say my job is teacher. Say I work as a teacher or I'm a teacher. Now, if you do ask somebody the question, what's your job? You're actually asking them something else. You're asking about another meaning of job as a noun, which is your duty or your function. So this is a countable noun. Let's see some examples. My job is to teach people English. So that is my duty and my function as an English teacher. A doctor's job is to treat sick people. An architect's job is to design buildings. A police officer's job is to maintain order and arrest criminals. Finally, let's look at job as an adjective. Job application. This tells us what kind of application we're talking about. Is it a gym application? No, it is a job application. Job interview, job description, 
job opportunity. Job seeker. A job seeker is someone who is looking for work or searching for work. Job training. Job market. And job offer. Now, let's summarize what we've learnt. Work is an uncountable noun, and it is the things you are paid or required to do for your job. It is also the tasks that you are required to complete for your education, schoolwork, classwork, homework. Job is a countable noun. It is a paid position of employment. And it is also your duty or your function. Work as a verb. To work is to do a paid job. You can work as, a or an plus profession. You can work for or at a company. You can work in an industry or a place. You can work for a person and you can work with a person. And remember, the person you work for is your boss and the people you work with are your workmates or colleagues. Now, let's take a prepositions quiz. Read the phrase, pause the video, decide which preposition to use, and then play the video to check your answer. Anna works a large multinational company. For or at. My boss is great. I really enjoy working. Him. For. Remember, we work for our boss. I worked London for many years. In. Remember, we work in a place. My sister works a history teacher. As. Remember, we say as plus profession. When he finished university, he started working advertising. In. Remember, we work in an industry. In this case, the advertising industry. I work some lovely people. We always help each other get our work done on time. With the people that help you do your work, this would be your colleagues or workmates, not your boss. For more English tutorials, then take a look at my channel. I've got videos on vocabulary, grammar, exam practice. And if you do like the content, then please like and subscribe to see more. And don't forget to head over to my website, englishwithm.com, to download your free grammar explanation and practice exercises. See you in the next video.